a very good morning to all of you i am pooja vaishnav and uh, i am your host today i am having with me ms rupa hello rupa good morning a very good morning ma'am a very good morning everyone i hope you all are sound and safe and uh, in today's session we'll be having to work on robotics so i'm very excited ma'am <laughs> thank you rupa and uh, okay so uh okay so we are going to start our session in a minute let me share my screen with you all i hope my screen is visible to all of you okay so very good morning to all of you and very warm welcome to all of you in our third session in the student uh, program student training program for the kodaiva competition for the tc school students so today we are going to enter in the world of robotics okay we are going to plan ourselves or train ourselves to take a step a little step in the uh, world of robotics robotics itself in a very exciting world that we are going to learn nowadays uh, hearing again and again and so many areas that we are uh, hearing that particular thing robotics so i think you all are very excited to learn something about robotics uh before going further uh i just want to let you know some overview that we why we are here uh as we all know that we are going to participate in the codever competition 2022 international so before uh, moving further what we have to do we just have a look on the codever competition Uh, I think voice is audible. Rupa, year, bringing you yes, the biggest international AI and programming competition for kids. Codeva 2022 International Fourth Edition. To make kids aware and inspire them to brainstorm over emerging issues, to make the world a better place, kids need to build solution-based projects on the following theme: save the environment, strengthen the health infrastructure, revolutionize the agriculture. automate the surroundings make smart transportation system you can make anything and everything you want from stories to games from software based ai projects to hardware based projects pictoblox an international ai education and coding platform you can learn to code make interactive animations and games interesting projects based on ai program actions for robots and much more with pictoblox app now available on play store you can even make your project for the competition on the go anyone above 7 years old and falling under 3 age groups can Yes, you can either participate as a one person army or in a team of 2 with your coding buddy. Follow these 3 easy steps to participate. Register by entering the team details on the contest portal. Prepare to enhance your coding and AI skill via self learning material and AI boot camps. Now that you have the skills required, it's time to show the world what you have got. Submit your project brief, project file and the project video. Now all you have to do is sit back and wait for the results.
Registration for Codeva 2022 International starts on 10th of October. The last date to submit your project is 10th January 2023. You can register anytime between 10th of October and 10th of January 2023. The winners of Codeva 2022 International will be announced on 31st January 2023. Participants stand a chance to win more than 60 prizes worth $20,000 in total. Along with the cash prizes up to $1,000, all the winners will also receive a medal, certificate and the official Codever 2022 AI t-shirt. Participate in the biggest online AI and programming competition for kids with more than 3 lakh plus participants, 1,000 plus schools, 1 lakh plus teams from 90 plus countries. So, what are you waiting for? Registration starts today. So, This is all about whatever competition. Now, this is all about the whatever competition, and you uh, you don't take to uh, take the tension about the registration that uh, can be done by your school only. You have to just ask your teacher to register your, you in the whatever competition, and we will give you the credential. After that, you have to prepare the uh, projects so on the uh, on the based of Quarky and ML based, AI based. As we have learned uh, much many things before in the previous session. Now, uh, after completing the project with these different different topics, you have to submit that project and you have to wait for the results only. Okay. So now uh, coming uh, moving further for our next session uh, today's session that is robot. Any one of you do you want to share something about the whatever uh, sorry robot? Any kind of example that you want to give uh, about the code, uh, robot? Okay, well I think everyone knows what is robot. Why? Because we are uh, today we are living in that world where all the things, all the persons want themselves very comfortable with the new technology that is AI, ML and robotics. What is robotics? Whenever we, uh, we have a machine that will take decision by themselves and perform the task is known as robot. Okay. Uh, just consider if we want uh, to deliver a pizza at home and we are sending one robot to do the task. What will happen? That robot will deliver the pizza at a defined place. And how it is going to happen? Because we are going to give the instruction with the help of coding to that particular robot and it will deliver the pizza at a particular place where it should be okay so what is robot we can say in a very simple language um, to make a machine decision making to learn learn the machine uh, decision making we have to give the instruction to it with the help of coding and after receiving the instruction it is performing the task and this is this whole machine is known as robot sometime uh, uh, you can um, see a calculator, right? But calculator is, uh, we can say it is a half kind of robot because it is doing tasks. But we have to give the instruction manually. It is not able to decide the things by itself, right? And if I'm talking about the, uh, what we can say, uh, talking about the, the live example, what we can say, we have a uh, mobile assistant, computer assistant in our mobile. So what is these kind of things? The, that devices can take the decision by themselves. And this is nothing but the robot. Okay. So the thing is for uh, uh, just a second, give me a time, please.
sorry to interrupt and uh, sorry to uh, sorry for the inconvenience so yes uh, where we are we are uh, just um, discussing about the robots so now we are just little bit understand the uh, term robot and if we are going to learn something about the robot then it has become a robotics so um, what we can say uh, you all know that there is one uh, device that is screwdriver if uh, we want to lose the screw then we are using screwdriver but we are doing it manually but when we are attach a robot arm to that screwdriver it will become a whole robot with the help of this example you can understand what is robot okay so coming uh, moving further can you please help me to identify the robot in this picture yes try to do it by self by yourself i didn't you have to identify the robots in this particular picture as we have discussed earlier what is robots in this uh, picture you just let me know ki what are the robots in this okay i'll help you in the first image that we can uh, see it is looking like a robot arm right or something else this particular device and in the second there is a ship in the third one it is exactly looking like a robot right and in the uh, fourth one there is a computer and calculator and one more image of a robot right so yes we can able to find out uh, in between of them who are robots and not the first image and the third image and the last one is the robot very good so types of robot there are so many types of robot that we can see in nowadays if we are uh, looking in the industry there are some uh, uh, mobile robots are available why we are use uh, in agriculture also uh, what is mobile robots it means mobile robots are like uh, uh, devices that we uh, that can be portable okay stationary robots in that particular thing um, that are fixed okay that we can't able to move from one place to another and uh, you can see in my screen there are so many robots are available virtual robots remote uh, control robot and the autonomous robot okay and in the different different area these all kind of robots are using and working now in a field of agriculture in the industry in uh, military also we are planning to uh, use the robots and in the bomb diffusion section we can also use the robot there are so many advantages and even the implementation of robot nowadays can be possible in the next okay now come to the robotics as i have already told you what is robotics if we are going to study a word robot it becomes robot we have to make a design we have to do something with the machine that is robotics the study of a robot is robotics now um, we are going to learn about our very special robot that is just a second give me a minute yes here you can see uh, in the camera you can find one robot it is showing like this is a one of our very little robot that is quarky i think rupa it is visible yes ma'am yes so this is our robot today we are going to working with it okay so just to have a small look on it yes 
what is quark it is an electronic board with a lots of feature to make different different projects like we can move it we can able to move this quark we can able to display something on this quark and just a second i'm just let uh, let you know ki what is the quark is this is the display palette LED display palette seven is to five cross, and in that particular display palette, we can able to display so many things. Okay, and we can make the expression with this display with the wheels. You can you are able to see in the square key. We can move the square key with the help of this, and uh, here are some touch pins are also available. One, two, three, four, five. Total five touch touch pins are available. We are able to make the touch piano also with the help of these touch pins. Okay. Today, what we are going to learn in the today's activity, we are going to learn. We are going to make an face mimic expression with the quirky. As in the previous session, what we have done. uh we have made one uh, face filter activity right in the first section in that we have used that face detection extension in today's session we are going to use the face detection extension as well with this quark today we are going to display our faces emotion on this quark so let's have a look on some features of the quark that what kind of things that we are having on our quark we have power switch pro, uh, two proximity sensors we have we have reset button tactile switches are there with the tactile uh, switches are like this these are the buttons with the use of this we can move the led on the display board so many things we are going to uh, we are able to do with the help of this quirky so uh, here are some example what we can make with the quirky simple horizontal robot we can make we can obstacle avoidance robot that also we can make virtual screening uh, robot we can make edge detector we can make even we can make the line follower system pizza delivery uh, boy also we can make with this quirky okay so there are so many different different things that we can perform with the help of quirky but now in our session what we are going to do is we are making a face expression detector with the help of quarky so this is how you can able to download the session okay and uh, download the picto blocks okay the new latest version of the picto blocks yes okay so let me reshare my screen again and uh, take you to the picto blocks application where we have to perform the i hope my screen is visible yes ma'am okay so let's start with the act today's activity as i have already uh, told you what we are going to make is we are going to make our face expression detector with the help of quirky whatever kind of face you are making in front of the camera in the picto blocks that similar expression is detected by the quirky and now we have to code accordingly so as you already familiar with the pictoblocks application what we need to do is first of all because we are we have to take a extension that is face expression detection text uh, extension and one more thing that we have to connect our quarky with the uh, with the pictoblock so before uh, i'm just trying to connect my quarky with the pictoblocks what i need to do is there is one switch over here on off switch is there we have to keep on it and you will find there is one blue light is coming in our quarky okay now if i want to connect with uh, our quarky with the picto blocks i need to go to the board option there uh, you can see here so many uh, boards are available it is not necessary to you to use only quarky as your uh, hardware buddy but what you can do you can uh, choose any one of these quad uh, these boards that you can able to perform the task in the whatever competition i am having quarky with me so i am just clicking on it quarky and after that just i need to connect it with the bluetooth port before connecting with the bluetooth port i need to just open one application that is pictoblocks link 
with the help of the help of picto blocks link i am able to connect my quarky with the computer so as i have already go to the board selected quarky as a board and then going to the option of connect there is one option bluetooth ports i need to uh, click on this i will uh, this device will find the my quarky if i am going to press on this connect button you will see my blue light on quarky is turned as a green it means it is showing that my quarky is connected via bluetooth with my device is it clear okay so okay uh, now moving further what we have to do is we have to go to the extension palette uh, extension option that is a uh, left hand side bottom corner we have to click on it and find the face detection extension we need to wait for some time as it will take to load the model it will take some time to uh, upload the models yes now just first of all uh, first of all just let me switch on my camera on my zoom because if i'm using my camera in zoom meeting what will happen it will not showing in the it will not showing in the picto block okay so as i have already told you that what i am going to do is i am making my face expression detector and my expression i am going to showing on the quasi so first of all go to the when flag clicked option before that just turn on the camera on the stage with 0% transparency if i am clicking on it you will find i will be coming on the stage of the picto block right now what i am going to do is going to just make some uh, uh, what we can say just going to analyze the image but before that keeping one option that is forever loop why we are using forever loop can any one of you uh, explain just give your answer in the chat box okay we have to go to the face extension detection and there is one option that is analyze image from the camera why we are using this particular block forever block we are using because uh, forever block we are using because if we want our script running continuously not a single time if we are putting this analyze image in the camera in the forever loop what will happen camera will analyze the image continuously so whenever if you are changing your emotions on your stage then it will automatically analyze because we have put this uh, particular uh, block in between the forever block okay so and just go to the looks palette there is one option that is hello say hello and just we need to keep uh, put this one and put it here but with the help of this particular uh, block say hello what will happen our toby will say the hello but what we want we just want our toby will say the expression of our face so just once again go to the face expression detection that uh, there is one option get expression of face one just put it in the in this block now i am just running the script till now it is showing as a neutral if i am happy toby is showing as a happy if i am surprised toby is saying as a surprise if i am sad it is saying sad so it means till the time our script is working fine now we have to just give the codes in that way that our quarky will show the exact expression that we are making in the stage okay so what we can do now just go to the control palette there is one conditional operation operator that is if and then okay so just uh, keep this and go to the display palette just a second before that just go to the face detection palette there is one option 
there is one option is expression of phase one is hep. Just put it in this if condition and go to the quirky display palette. And there is one option display happy emotion. Okay, what I have done, I have just put a one uh, conditional operator that is if then I'm using where I am putting the condition like is expression of phase one is happy. Then quirky should display the emotion as happy. Am I clear? Okay, just put this particular if condition after the say block. Once again, if we want to change the expression, is expression of phase one is said, you can choose any one of them. Okay, I am just choosing it is as a set. And if it is then, just a second, we can using it as a crime. Whatever kind of information you are going to give with this, it will behave like in the same manner. After this, just a second. After this, if I am uh, changing the surprised, just a second. change the expression as surprised and emotion is also as surprised. Right? Once again, we can use one or other. Go to the angry. And here we can use super angry. Okay. So this is what we have uh, prepared the script for today's session. Going to the events palette. And there is one when flex clicked option is there. So. We have to put uh, this particular when flag kicked option all the time because we want to control our script with this uh, option flag flag button. Okay, so I'm just clicking on it and uh, we will find our results. Natural. Okay, I'm just showing my quirky here. I think it is not visible. Just a second. Just a second. Show. I think now it is visible. No. Just a second. Let me stop the script and once again I need to. Happy. And uh, have a look. On this, my quirky is also showing it as unhappy. If I'm surprised, quirky is changing, but it is not visible, I think. Uh, Rupa, is it visible properly? No, ma'am. Actually, the brightness is too much. Like, uh, uh -huh. ma'am, can you click on that block? Which block? Yeah. yeah. Right. I'll block. put 10. Huh. Is it okay now? Yeah, mom, kind of fine. <laughs> but still, it is not uh, looking very good now. Uh, Just a second. I have to put it. Yeah, maybe. Uh, okay. I think now change is uh, looking, right? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So, uh, please uh, keep in mind, I'm as I'm uh, changing the expression at my face, my quirky is also going to change its face, its expression. Okay, happy. Surprised. Sad.
so yes as you can see here whatever we have uh, give the instruction accordingly the square key is behaving in the same that as of my expression so this is all about today's uh, activity that uh, we are uh, here with in the next activity we will definitely come come with something uh, different and new till now uh, just a second till now uh, i think just a second Till now, we have completed three sessions of the uh, student training program where we have discussed in first session uh, with the AI extension that is artificial intelligence. Uh, in uh, We have make a phase a filter application. In the second session, yesterday, we have discussed about the uh, machine learning where we have a uh, we have made a mass detector. And today uh, today's session, we have make a face expression detector with the help of quality. Okay, whatever kind of phase that I'm making, my quirky is doing in the same way. Uh, I think the activity is clear with you all. Um, we have uh, Miss Tina with us. Um, hello, Tina. Do you want to hello. share something? Hi, Tina. Am I audible? Hello. Yes, Tina. Right. Do you want to say something or motivate the student with your kind words? Uh, hello, all dear students. Hope uh, you are participating in this Cordova 2022 uh, competition. So all the very best for you. We are coming up with excited prizes. Yeah, that's all. All the very best. Hello, Rupa. Do you want to give any uh, concluding remark? Uh, yes, ma'am. Actually, uh, we uh, we can see there are like international students also joining for this competition. And uh, it would be great if we see our Indian people, Indian students rocking in this competition. And we are expecting lots of students coming in and participating. I wish you all all the best students. And yeah, wishing you to see. And I wish all of you win the prizes. Yes. Thank you, Rupa. Thank you, Tina. And uh, I'm also, uh, thank you all. Uh, I'm also giving my thanks to all of you to participate in the whatever competition and uh, you are uh, uh, making your best. Please uh, participate and submit your projects. And uh, please try to make something very innovative and don't uh, hold your thoughts. Okay, just try to implement your thoughts in a working project with the help of PictoBlocks and any kind of uh, hardware that can be compatible with the PictoBlocks and come up with the innovative ideas and very, very, very all the best to all of you. And thank you for joining today's session. Bye-bye. Take care.